Senior. We'll be doing a monologue from the Laramie Project. In October of 1998, two men were charged with the hate crime of murdering a boy named Matthew Shepard for the offense of being gay. When they were found guilty, the defense team made a plea to Matthew's parents, Dennis and Judy Shepard, to spare them of the death penalty. A few days later, Matthew's father, Dennis Shepard, made a statement to the court. This is some of what he said. My son, Matthew, did not look like a winner. He was rather uncoordinated and wore braces from the age of 13 until the day he died. However, in his all too brief life, he proved that he was a winner. On October 6, 1998, he tried to show the world that he could win again. On October 12, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero lost. On October 12, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero died 50 days before his 22nd birthday. I keep wondering the same thing that I did when I first saw him in the hospital. What would he have become? How could he have changed his piece of the world to make it better? Matt officially died in a hospital in Fort Collins, Colorado. He actually died on the outskirts of Laramie, tied to a fence. You, Mr. McKinney, with your friend, Mr. Henderson, left him out there by himself but he wasn't alone. He had his lifelong friends out there with him, friends that he had grown up with. You're probably wondering who these friends were. First, he had the beautiful night sky and the same stars and moon that we used to look at together through telescope. Then he had the sun and the daylight to shine on him. And through it all, he was breathing in the scent of pine trees from the snowy ranges. And he heard the wind, that ever-present Wyoming wind, for the last time. He had one more friend with him. He had God. And I feel better knowing that he wasn't alone. Matthew's beating, hospitalization, and funeral have focused worldwide attention on hate. Good is coming out of evil. People have said, enough is enough. No, I miss my son. But I'm proud to say that he was my son. It has been quoted that Judy is against the death penalty. It has also been stated that Matthew was against the death penalty. Both of these statements are wrong. Matthew believed that there were crimes and incidents that justified the death penalty. I, too, believe in the death penalty. I would like nothing better than to see you die, Mr. McKinney. However, this is the time to begin the healing process. Show mercy to someone who refused to show any mercy. I'm going to grant you life. Mr. McKinney, as hard as it is for me to do because of Matthew. Every time 
you celebrate a Christmas, a birthday, or the 4th of July, remember that Matt isn't. Each morning, when you wake up in your prison cell, remember that you had the opportunity and the ability to stop your actions that night. You brought me something very precious to me, Mr. McKinney. And I will never forgive you for that. I'm going to grant you life in the memory of one who no longer lives. May you have a long life, Mr. McKinney. And may you thank Matthew every day for it. Yeah, and now, you've got to